Welcome back, everybody. A question that I get asked a lot is how to get started in home theater, right? So a lot of times uh, younger folks have started to graduate from, you know, televisions with speakers built in that were 12 years old, that kind of thing. And they they finally got a little bit of money and they're like, okay, where do I start? And, and how do I really get into this home theater thing? But I don't have a lot of cash to blow, but I have some. Um, and, you know, it's kind of a hard conversation because home theater is iterative. And what I mean by that is you buy a thing and then you buy another thing and then maybe you upgrade a thing. But when you're just starting and if you don't have anything, what do you do to get started? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. So we're going to take a hypothetical situation where you're starting with nada and you got five G's and you need to build a workable system. So we're going to start with nothing. We're going to step through every piece that you need. And at the end, you're going to have a 5.2 system that's going to be pretty darn awesome. Now, you're saying, what about Atmos? What about all these? Well, you can't get everything to start, right? But these are all the components that you need to start with zero and then come out with something that you can be pretty proud of. It'll be a pretty impressive system. I'm not putting together something that's going to be all throwaway. Some of these pieces you'll be able to keep for a very, very long time. Now, what all is going to go into that? Well, we're going to talk about that now. And the first piece is going to be the television. Our first stop is going to be with what's probably the most obvious component, and that's the display, right? Now, at five grand, we're obviously not going to be doing projection and all kinds of cool things like that, but we can get a really good television. And from my point of view, the best quality TV that you can get today is an OLED, O-L-E-D, uh, great blacks and great for use in watching movies and that kind of thing. Typically, you want to use it in a darker room, although OLEDs are getting brighter now, um, but they are on the pricier side of the house. You can still do LED or micro LED and all this other technology, quantum dot and all, all kinds of stuff, right? But I think for most people, they'll agree that OLED is a really, really good technology. Doesn't really burn in uh, like it used to. If you treat it well, it'll treat you well, right? Um, now, when we think about size, TVs don't exist for me uh, less than 75 inches, right? So just you, you don't buy it, right? Unless you have a special use case where you need a small TV for a small spot, um, you don't want anything smaller than a 75. So um, to meet the price requirement, which means we, we need a lower price, uh, the size uh, and the quality, I found an LG, the A277. This thing's on sale right now. Uh, for a thousand bucks off at Best Buy for seventeen ninety nine ninety nine, lots of nines. Uh, but the, for less than two grand, um, you get into a quality name brand awesome television. I think for most people, they would never be able to tell this apart uh, from any other OLED television. The vast majority of folks will see this thing, and once it's in their home, they will be absolutely just in love with it for the entire time they they have it. Um, you can get nitty gritty and start really doing side by side comparison and that kind of thing and which one's best and which one's not. But I think for most people, if the TV's large enough and the quality is good enough and the price is right, I think you've got a winner. And this LG check marks all of those boxes. So step one, television done. We are at $17.99.99 plus tax. We're not going to talk about tax though. Just pretend it doesn't exist, even though it does. Next, we're going to talk about the heart of any home theater. And that's the AVR, the audio video receiver or processor, just depends at what level you're spending money. Uh, it's gonna be an AVR uh, in this situation. And what that means, it's, it's got everything baked in, right? So it's got all your HDMI inputs, uh, it's got all your outputs, it's got your amplification. So really, if you think about it, this is a traffic cop for everything. So you take all your sources and plug in, and then your video output devices plug in and you have HDMI running there and then all your speakers plug into this as well and there's amplification in this unit to power the speakers. Um, you know you can buy processors on the low end side kind of like what we're looking at now for $499 and this one doesn't even look like it's on sale it's just 
$499 for a 5.2 channel home theater receiver. And just, just so you know, the dot two really is just like, it's the same thing, right? So it's not really, it doesn't really have two discrete tuned subwoofer channels, but it's got two outputs and it makes it easy to hook things up. And since we want a good home theater, we're going to have two subwoofers. So it's nice to have two outputs on the back of the processor, the AVR that you can plug your RCA cables into. Um, my philosophy on processors, AVRs at this price point, um, and even up into the one, two thousand, three thousand dollar price point, is that you really want to look for the features that you need, and then buy the one that has the lowest cost, um, because there's not a huge amount of difference in the output sound quality. There just really isn't. Now, this one doesn't put out a ton of power, so to offset that, we're going to look at some speakers that are a little more sensitive so that they can run better with the power that they're going to get from this uh, AVR. That will help the entire package work well together. If you are going to use speakers that are super hungry, have 88 decibel sensitivity or something like that, then maybe you'll need some extra amplification, that kind of thing. And this is not the processor for you. But in this $5,000 deal, this is a good one. And we're going to talk about just a few of the key features really quickly. Uh, this is a Denon, and Denon is really awesome. Uh, it's a great brand. I've used it for years and years and years. I've got one that's in service right now in my basement. It's absolutely uh, a, a great name brand. Uh, this unit um, has Odyssey built in, which is the tuning uh, room correction piece. It's not the best of technologies, but it will help you get everything calibrated and set up. Uh, and you don't really need to spend a lot of time on it, right? You just plug in the mic, follow the instructions, you're good to go. This supports 8K, supports Dolby Vision, and it has enough inputs and outputs to support what most people want to be able to use. Most people are going to want three sources. They're going to want some kind of streamer, like an NVIDIA Shield. They're going to want something to play discs in, Blu-ray player, and they're going to want some kind of game system. Those are the three popular ones. This supports all of those, uh, and it will support them at 8K Dolby Vision uh, with all of the right copy protection and all that kind of stuff, right? So this is a good unit. Also, I believe this is a Rune target, so if you want to use this for two-channel music, you can easily if you got a Rune server, server, and that's a nice feature to have, particularly at this price point. Okay, so now we've got the television, we've got the uh, Hark, the AVR, and we are at a total of twenty-two ninety-eight. So we're about halfway burned through our money at this point. Now we're going to move over into the five of the five point two system, and we're going to talk about speakers. It is speaker time, and Speakers are an area of home theater and two channel or any kind of audio uh, scenario that can cost a ton. I mean, you can you can go down a rabbit hole of speakers and spend hundred thousand dollars on a pair if you want to, or more, right? Well, we don't have that much money to spend, so I'm going to take that knob and turn it all the way to the left hand side and start it with what I think is a great entry level home theater speaker set. These are speakers that sound good enough. They're not the best, right? And they're not exactly my favorite, but they are solid. And there are a lot of them out there. A lot of people love the brand. And I think they really fit the bill at this price point. And we're going to be talking about Klipsch reference. So when you say we're looking at 5.2, what that means is there's, there's going to be five channels left, right, center channel, and then two surrounds. And the dot two means two subwoofers, right? Um, most people will say dot one, but I like to say dot two just so you can speci specifically know that we're talking two. We're not talking one, we're talking two. So we are in the five section right now. And for the left and right, we're going to look at the R800F from Klipsch. Now, all of these are going to be uh, Klipsch uh, so that they all match Timberly, kind of, I guess. Um, they, it should, the, it should mix well enough that you really can't notice uh, anything on pans, uh, as far as having a different timber of, uh, tweeter and mid on the speaker. So the, the experience should be good. Now, um, just a couple of things about, uh, Klipsch. This is their lower end. There's, there's actually a lower end than, than this, right? So I guess you could call this their mid range. Um, Klipsch, you always want to buy on sell, uh, when you look at Clips, if you're paying full price on the Clips website, you have made a mistake. Uh, 
<laughs> that's just the way that they price their stuff, right? So um, if you're buying anything from Klipsch, always make sure it's on sale. And we do have these on sale. We're at four, $4.19 each down from 600, 30% off. If you look at Christmas time, you'd probably be able to find these at 50% off or 60% off or something like that. Now, these are, I believe, dual 8-inch speakers uh, with the 90 degree by 90 degree Tractrix horn tweeter. Uh, we're not going to get into what all of that means in this video, but those are all very specifically Klipsch kind of things. That Tractrix horn is their claim to fame. All right, so that, that's the left and right. And after the two left and rights, that takes us to 3136. Now, we need a center channel. Center channel is the most important speaker in any home theater. This, this thing, this is where the dialogue comes from. So super important. Um, don't cheap out and, or not buy one at all. <laughs> you need a center channel. If you're doing home theater, multi-channel, you need a center channel. You have to have it for your home theater. There are people that are like, oh no, Phantom, Phantom center channel. No, don't do it. Hard stop, get a center channel. And this R50C for 379 matches the other speakers and should do a mighty fine job uh, with the power that's put out by the, uh, the Denon that we were looking at before. Now this is 379, that takes us to 3515, God, I'm going so blind. And then finally, we need a couple of surrounds. And if you add that up, that's gonna be five units, right? Um, we're looking at the, uh, because I gotta cut costs somewhere. So the R14M, uh, $429 a pair, rounds out the five channels of, uh, of speakers for our home theater. Now, we've got the five done. Let's move on to the dot two. When you think home theater, you think that kind of visceral experience where you have these great images and you have this sound enveloping you and then you've got this bass that you can just feel, right? That's super important and I want to have that in this system even though the system is lower cost. There's a deal out there today for two 15 inch subs that I've never seen anything quite like before. It's, it's the best deal going in, in hi-fi and home theater right now. Uh, and that is the Stark Sound SW15 BOGO deal. Buy one, get one. So for $9.99, you get two of their sealed 15-inch subs. And uh, from what I've heard, myself personally, I did test these and I've got a video about them and uh, anecdotal information from other people that have bought them and used them, uh, the, the marks are very high on these. People have been very, very satisfied. And for a thousand bucks, getting two powered 15s is kind of ridiculous. It is kind of crazy. So, uh, you know, the one issue I do see is that they're pre-selling them, shipping on the 30th. Yeah, I, I guess uh, I guess everybody <laughs> wants them and they, they're sold out and, uh, and and you'll have to wait a little while. Uh, but this is this is what I would go with. For the money, there's just nothing really out there that, that competes with it. You can buy subs that are cheaper, but you're getting like a 10 inch sub for 349 that just doesn't play deep at all like it, you, it's just you you can't you can't go wrong with this um, really really good price really good sub so to to recap on cost after all the speakers we were at 3644 and then adding on another thousand bucks for the subs takes us to 4643 um, so we're still under our five thousand dollars and we have Television, we have AVR, we have all of the speakers, but that does not make a system, right? You still have to be able to have content to watch, right? So we need to talk about sources and we're gonna talk about two of those in just a minute. Um, one thing I did wanna show about this, uh, this subwoofer, the SW15, if you look, this thing's got XLR inputs and, and a daisy chainable XLR output, which is at this price point, unheard of. I mean, that's, that's a really, really cool feature. I think of all the pieces of gear, other than the television, because the, the television I think you could keep for a number of years and be super happy and satisfied with it. Um, the subs might stick around the longest as you start upgrading things, because these are pretty impressive, uh, particularly for the, for the cost. Okay, now we're done with the guts. Let's talk about the fancy pieces, the sources. If there's one piece of gear that is probably the best for the money uh, as far as sources go, available today, it's going to be the Panasonic UB420. So this Blu-ray player 
is phenomenal. And I, there's really nothing out there that, that compares with it for $219. It's, it's a no brainer. There are step up models to this. There's a 9,000 version that costs a thousand bucks and that kind of thing, but it's not really necessary for, for this system, for this system, this Blu-ray player, this 4K Blu-ray player is going to do what you need it to do with discs. Now, if you want to step up to the, what is it, the 820 or the 840 and then up to the 1000, feel free. You know, you're spending more money and you'll get some extra things like Dolby Vision and stuff like that. But for most people, this one is going to be all that you need. And I highly recommend it. Panasonic has just, just destroyed everybody with this thing. Um, I wouldn't go with the Sony, which is the next big competitor. And there's a lot of esoteric models out there that are pretty good, but cost a lot more. This is the one, right? Especially at this price point. One thing I do want to talk about as far as disc playback goes is don't use an Xbox or a PlayStation 5 to play your discs. Just don't do it. The quality is not as good. And you're like, how can it be? It's different. <laughs> Just don't do it. Use that. Play games right? Knock yourself out. That is what they're designed for. That's what their hardware does well. When you want to watch discs, use your Panasonic 4K Blu-ray player. Now at $219.99, that is going to bring our total to $48.62. Now I am not going to get into which game system is better than the other game system and call that out as a $500 piece of equipment that you need for your home theater. Cause you don't, right? You don't need that for home theater. What you do do need for home theater is something to stream with. And in my opinion, the very best streamer um, followed closely by the Apple TV is the Nvidia Shield and not the cheap $150 version. Get the $200 version. Um, you can use this to do Plex and other things down the line. And I've found that this just runs better than the underpowered one that looks like a cylinder. I don't know. It's completely different form factor. This is the one to get, right? $199, uh, Nvidia Shield, Android TV Pro, 16 gig. Um, and at $199, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer again. So with this device, and remember, this is, this is a device that you're going to use for all of your apps and all of your streaming. You're not going to stream on your Blu-ray player, uh, you're going to stream on this device. So this gives you, with those two pieces, you get the, the best of both worlds. The best quality with 4K um, disc and then streaming uh, for tons of content with this. Um, if you wanted the very best quality, of course, that's going to be Clyde Escape, but you're looking at 8000 bucks to get into the ecosystem. So that doesn't fit into this uh, system price at all, um, but that that is the one if you want the best experience with movies. Uh, but at the 199 price here, this takes the total before tax, and your tax is exempt, right? Um, to $5,061, and it's a really, really good system. Um, one other thing that I will note is uh, uh, we have just launched uh, a new website for deals, right? You know, the more I talk about this stuff, the more I realize um, it's really important for everybody to be able to get access to the gear that they want. And sometimes it can be tough to find, you know, what's on sale, particularly speakers and that kind of thing. You can go to Slick Deals or Brad Deals and that kind of stuff. But those sites are just so huge and they're just so full of stuff uh, that it gets hard to find things. So I've just started this and um, I'm building this out with my wife. And uh, we have a number of deals. And some of the deals that I actually have um, to build the system, I, I found as I was starting to populate this website. So everybody out there, take a moment, go to hometheaterfanatics.com, register. Uh, that will allow you to post your own deals, right? And then you can get onto the newsletter that I'm going to start sending out with a weekly set of deals of the, the best and hottest things that you can get at a really, really good price, right? The idea is how can we be frugal and have an awesome system? And that's what this, uh, this caters to. Now there's going to be plenty of upscale stuff. You'll see TVs that are $5,000 after a $3,000 discount, right? Yeah, it's pretty pricey, but that's still a really good deal, right? If that's what you're in the market for. So go check this out if you don't mind. Um, and, uh, specifically if you could log in and try and post your own deal up as well. Um, I can't find everything out there that's great. So if you know of a really good deal, this is a way that you can give back to the community and say, hey, look, I found this thing and this will save you a few bucks. Um, I'll also have some ads from advertisers and things like that uh, here as well. Um, I'm just getting started with that. So there's nothing yet, but 
there will be. Uh, thanks for checking that out anyway. Looking back at the system that we just talked through, man, for five grand, you get a lot today. I remember when I was getting started in, with this stuff, five grand got you junk in comparison. But now you're you're talking Dolby Vision 5.2 sources. I mean, really, really good stuff. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of myself for coming up with this little system. Um, and I hope that, uh, I hope that there's somebody out there that's watching saying, man, how do I do this? What do I get? And they see this and they say, okay, this is the way. This is how we do it. Because this really is a good, solid system that I think anybody would be happy. I would be happy to sit down and watch this system any day of the week. This, this is really good stuff. All right. So we're at the end. Thanks for watching. Remember, please like and subscribe and do all the things. Um, I love to have you guys join me for new content every week and I appreciate your time watching. So thank you so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.